Okay, one moment please. I seem to have uh, my timer out of view. There we go. Okay, so, welcome back to Let's Play Octopath Traveler. We're behind a tree. That's why I couldn't see us. Okay, so, I uh, believe when last we left, we had finished Cyrus's mission, uh, and because he was in the party, he still is in the party. Uh, and it is time now. I don't think we've started it yet, but it is time now, and it's probably going to take us that other direction out of town to do um, Tressa's story. How much money do we have? Not a lot. And I will say, um, my current buffer... Oh, what do you have for sale? Is pretty low. Mysterious ore. Yeah, sure. Can I put you down as another happy customer? <laughs> Always looking for a bargain. Wait, wait. Did we have... Soothing seed. Did we have a empty coin purse? Did we have a, a side quest? Mercenary band. Water doesn't it can burst the banks. Why isn't anyone doing anything? Where is that? That's Saints Bridge. City of Gold. Hmm. Haven't run into any of that. Beowulf the Great. Ancient plinth carved granite. Pray okay. Uh, once lived here. Would you know anything about her, of her whereabouts? That's in Cobblestone. Those are both in Cobblestone. Bandit's Code. Too late for me to turn over a new leaf. Uh, okay. Can I ever get her to glance in my, glance in my direction? Uh, and then there's that one. I thought for sure we had one that was looking for... Anyway. Let's... Following the footsteps of the nameless author, you find yourself in Quarry Crest. Very different than... A Quarry Crest, very different than the one he described. Your search for business begins here. Spurred on by a curious notebook she acquired, Tressa set forth on a journey. Now she follows the f in the footsteps of the anonymous author, in hopes of seeing the world and all the treasures it holds. Now where did I leave off? Every journey is a vast sea of opportunities, but none are quite so precious as our encounters with others. Sharing a connection with someone new, for however brief a time, is unforgettable. For it is chance, a chance to learn about others and yourself. I'll rest here tonight in Quarrycrest. It's a sleepy little mining town, for now at least. Rumor has it there's gold in these hills, and many a prospector has set their eye on it. I wonder what encounters await me here. Gotta be careful not to skip. Hmm, hmm. This must be Quarry Quest. It's not exactly sleepy anymore, is it? <laughs> Could there really be gold here? Ooh. Eureka! <laughs> gold! I've struck gold! <laughs> now this is something to write home about. <laughs> Where there's one, there's more, and I'll find them all. <laughs> Not if I find them first. Huh? I guess there really is gold in these dar hills. Oh, they did it. They went there. Hey, <laughs> something tells me this may be a good place to set up shop. 
boy. Stay your hands as Mr. Morlock. Why are hmm. you out of focus? Good to see you all toiling so earnestly. Mm -hmm. Who's this Mr. Morlock? Ah, oh, there. Now you're in focus. <laughs> Looks a uh, real gold. How much you reckon it's worth? <laughs> Let me see that beautiful nugget. Hmm. I'd be happy to take it off your hands for a reasonable sum. Eager. I'll say it once more, so listen well. This mine and all the land surrounding it is the sole property of the esteemed Mr. Morlock. As such, any and all gold discovered here is his by right. Hmm. But fortunately for you, Mr. Morlock is a generous man. He'll buy the gold off anyone who finds it. So, that. so keep digging and you may find yourself with riches beyond measure. Whoa. That sounds shady. Mm. <laughs> Looks like this Morlock fella has an iron grip on this mine. I guess that means I won't be dealing in gold here. Okay. But still... Yes. My merchant senses tell me this town presents a lucrative business opportunity and I've completely forgotten her accent as if I ever had one solid for her oh dear okay oh lots of laborers from the mines frequent the tavern they want a bit of le bit of levity after being in those dark tunnels all day curious bloom injurious dust Curious. I saw someone over here. Don't have enough for that. Uh, I think also there is, if I remember correctly, there is a chest. Aha. Yeah, there is a chest somewhere I hadn't gotten yet. You haven't been scrutinized? Oh, oh. oh good. Claiming he hasn't met an egg, he couldn't hatch. This man's knowledgeable on everything egg related. Come. Many come from far and wide seeking his egg expertise. Rumor has it he prefers his eggs boiled. Shadow Storm. A pole mace. Oh boy. Uh, dig and dig and dig and still can't find any gold. Curse my bad luck. I thought this would be my chance to turn it all around. I was such a fool, I even borrowed money to get this far. How can I even face my wife again? Huh? What's that? Nah. Excuse me, sir, I'll buy these stones from you. Mm. You will? Okay. Purchase nondescript stones from the migrant worker. Uh, I'm not seeing anything for... Sure. Gives off bright shine when polished properly. Ha! Huh, you have use of my goods? Bless you! <laughs> I was looking for a bargain. I, I can't sell these to you in good consciousness. They're just lousy rocks. <laughs> <laughs> but I insist. I insist. I'm a merchant, and I feel like there's more that to meet, more to these than meets the eye. Arigato. In that case, they're all yours. Thank you kindly. Aha! Uh -huh, I knew it. Underneath that grimy exterior was a gorgeous gem, just waiting to be discovered. Uh. You've quite the eye, young lady. Huh? Pardon? Yep. Yeah. Uh. Hey, those are the same stones I bought. <laughs> a 
Right, you are. I'm a traveling merchant. All's the Al Ali's the name. Tressa, I'm a traveling merchant too. I've never seen stones that glow quite like these. <laughs> they look just like ordinary rocks at first, but it'll take more than that to fool me. You have no idea what you bought, do you? Should I? Ah, these are sky stones. These are sky stones. They're rare, but you can find them if you know where to look. At first, they're perfectly unremarkable rocks, but apply some quality elbow geek grease. <laughs> and you have yourself a gorgeous gemstone. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> and still you bought all those stones? Heck of a green pea you are. <laughs> green pea? I'm sorry, from a Ma coastal town. Well, keep up the good work. See you around, Green Pea. Means you're not ripe. Green Pea, he's just a mean pea. But I don't have time for that now. I have stones that need selling. She's going to run afoul of Morlock, I think. Come one, come all. Be the first to get your hands on one of the rarest treasures in the realm. Gold? Nope, it's better than gold. Now feast your eyes on this, the shimmering sky stone. Oh my. This is going to be something... Something's going to go wrong here. Look how it sparkles! Ooh, let me see. Nah. Well, quite the beauty, isn't it? Ooh. I've never seen anything like it. Why would you sell it here? <laughs> it's absolutely breathtaking. <laughs> Uh, yes, but did you know the Sky Stone's radiance is surpassed only by its rarity? So if you'd like your one of your own, this might be your only chance. She, you just barely learned that, and you haven't checked your sources yet, Tressa. I'll take one. Yes. Oh, me too. My daddy. Pleasure doing business with you. Woo, those stones practically sold themselves. Yes. This place really is good for business. Time to stock up the shop. Something's going to go wrong. A sky stone, eh? A significant discovery, to be sure. Do you know much about sky stones, Professor Albright? I dare say I've read a book or two about them. I can say they are a type of ore... But I failed to recognize the stone for what it was, even when put before me. But your eyes saw true. Perhaps it is your merchant's instinct at work. Maybe. Honestly, I wasn't certain those rocks were so valuable. But in trade, good opportunities don't come by every day. So you just have to roll the dice when you see one. Indubitably. I must confess, I was quite impressed at the way you managed to sell all those stones. Seeing the potential for trade in every part of life, you are a true merchant's merchant. It is a clever game you play, Tressa. I hope to see more of it. It's a deal, Professor? Okay. Um, there was a person up there who had an orange thought bubble. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, there's somebody with a green. There's another person with a green. Sure. Oh. Young man who works the mines in Quarry Crest. Though born on a farm, he left his family behind to seek his fortune in gold. Alas, his inexperience with the tools of his of the trade has left led him to break more than a few pickaxes. Okay. 
God, Steve, I'm trying to dig through this rock, but once again, it's got the better of my pick. If I could sharpen the wretched thing, it'd be a different story, but how do I do that? A minor <laughs> dilemma. Refreshing jam. Who's... Oh. Uh, 828222, eight, two, ranked 102nd, most productive out of 1274. Hmm. Hmm. Even if you dig up everything, I hear the landlord drives a hard bargain. Nondescript stone. Sure. Are you the one buying up all the stones? Why do you want them? <laughs> Always looking for a bargain. I see. That's what's going on here. Oh. If I don't find gold suit, I'm done for. Not a little. <sighs> Every so often, something good gets excavated. Most of the time, it's these blasted stones. Want to buy these? Help yourself. I was looking for a bargain. Remaining one. You need a pickaxe. Do you have anything I can buy from you? <clears throat> you have a hand axe, but not a pickaxe. Can I buy a pickaxe in the store? No. Hill Cleaver. Oh, wait. Mysterious Ore does not... S Fool's Gold Ore. Okay. Herb of Valor. I doubt there's in... I doubt it. There's nothing in these mines. Oh. All work and no food makes for a dull miner. Oh, that's that's terrifying. You want it? Take whatever you want. Oh, he's looking for a bargain. That should do it. Now ba it's back to the square. Make for the bazaar, and we're about to run into problem. Do you have anything? A crescent dagger that's way outside of our price range. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Are you here for a climb as well? Dubious gold ore. Step right up. Be the first in line to see the rarest. You're about to get proven wrong. Oh dear. This, my friends, is the one and only sparkling shining sky stone. Of course, you can be the proud owner of these lovely gems for just a fraction of her prices. What? <laughs> what a dirty <laughs> trick! <laughs> Setting up shop right next to me. But I won't go down without a fight. Mm. They certainly are beautiful. <laughs> but what makes your stones different from hers? <laughs> you won't find pure sky stones anywhere, just look at them. You can see all the way through. Not a single blemish or impurity be found. Dazzling. Is it not, my lady? Almost as dazzling as your eyes. Well, when you put it that way. Resorting to cheap flattery, does he have no shame? 
he obviously with, with the succubus uh, friend. Do you have a daughter, my good sir? That doll's, that doll's a boulder fall make, no? Precious gift for a precious little girl, no doubt. Indeed it is. Clearly you're the type of father who wants only the best for his darling child. The doll's probably better than a gemstone. Do you believe, truly believe that doll will survive? Suffice? This sky stone is as pure, innocent, and beautiful as the daughter's love. And every time she sees its radiant glow, she'll remember her dear father who gave it to her. <sighs> its light will connect her to you no matter how far you may travel. Dear father, where do you roam? Dear father, when will you come home? Surely you can see why this would be the best purchase you'll ever make. <laughs> I can just see her smiling face now. What a pleasant young man. I'll take one. You're most welcome, my good sir. <laughs> what? There's not a moment to spare if you want a rare sky stone to call your own. You won't find them anywhere else. I promise you won't be disappointed. I'll take one, please. One for me, too. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Would you look at that? Business is booming. Oh dear. Well, maybe not. Well, maybe not for all of us. You win this round. <laughs> There's no way I'd lose to a green pea like you. I'll admit, I've never seen anyone make a sale like that before. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. No, it doesn't. Practice makes permanent. If you want to survive in this world, you need to learn how to tug heart sting, heartstrings and loosen purse strings. But being a merchant is more about, about more than just making a sale. A good merchant should understand what their customer needs and sell them what's best. Um, Tressa, you're selling random gigas and... They are gems and rare gigas, but they are gigas to people in the same place you found the places and don't really have much use, practical use for them. This isn't something that's needed. <laughs> What I sell may not be what they need, but it is what they want. What's wrong with a little embellishment? Embellishment? A merchant's words are like a warrior's blade. Don't forget it, Green Pea. This Ali fellow seems rather good at this. I can't believe he got away with that. 
I must confess, I've never met anyone so smooth of tongue. In a way, it's hard not to admire him. Ophelia, whose side are you on anyway? Well, why yours, of course. This isn't over. I swear I'll make more coin than him before we're through. Just so, and I shall offer a blessing for your success. Do you think I need to practice my sales pitch? You mean to be more persuasive like Ali? Just, well, if you work up all of our friendship levels, we'll give you more cards to use in your negotiation. Just make sure you keep their patience high and their uh, keep their interest high and not to wear their patience down to where they leave. No, not like him exactly, but if I did practice, maybe I'd be better at selling things? Oh well, I suppose it could have just been practice that makes me sound so clever. Exactly, so all I need to do is practice more. In fact, I'll start now. You pretend to be the customer, alright? Well, wait, what? Okay, also... Let's look around a Viking axe for a pickaxe. Ah. Silly question, perhaps. Okay. Mateo. Uh, no, I was coming up here to talk to you. Nothing? Okay. Can't talk to you. Refreshing jam and a West of yours the man's Mr. Morlock the landlord up on the other end is where the scholar lives. Oh That's why okay I didn't I, I randomly found it but I was going the right way. Oh Mr. Morlock's manor is up ahead over the bridge. Oh Yeah. Silver filled pouch. So, uh, I don't think it's where I should be going at the moment. Okay, so can't go that way. There's a sign blocking the, the path. Um, haven't met anybody with a uh, pickaxe <laughs> waiting to be found and sold for a bounty. Pseudo gold ore. Oh, can't talk to you. I don't think it's where I should be going at the moment. Yeah, that's, uh... That's where the, uh, kidnapper was. Oh. <sighs> so hungry. You have money. But after that miserable show, I need to save my money. No, you don't. Yeah. Your finest meatballs, sir. Well, if it isn't the green pea, you're looking famished. Here, I take it you're on a tight budget now. Huh. Keep it. I refuse to take pity food from a rival. Uh. I completely forgot her... I refuse to take pity food from a rival. And uh, that's really exaggerated. Suit yourself. Where so, why do you take up this line of work anyway? <clears throat> Both my parents are merchants, so I guess it just came naturally. Huh? Now I'm wandering the world and learning the trade as I go. <laughs> you don't say. My old man's a merchant, too. In the South, everyone and their uncles heard of Maruf the merchant. Hmm. He was such a smooth talker, he could sell sand in the desert. But he never once told a lie. With just a few words, my dad could get anyone to buy what he was selling and make them gen feel genuinely happy in about their purchase. Sonde. It was like magic. <laughs> His words had an incredible power, one that could help people see beauty in the things they purchased. There. Dot dot dot. And so I decided to follow my old man's footsteps. Huh? Did you take up the family business? Hmm. 
Yeah. No, I ran away from home. Mm? What? Mm. I'll spare you the details. It's just how things played out. It wasn't so different for me, you know. <laughs> hey, you don't say. Well, I've got another busy day ahead of me. Better luck tomorrow, eh? Same to you. May the best merchant win. What did... Oh, no. Oh. Well, well, you seem to be doing well for yourself. Hmm. Illegal though your business may be. Uh -huh. And who are you? Ego. Watch your tone, tone, boy. Mr. Morlock owns this establishment as well as everything else in this town. Oh, um. Ahem. That I most certainly do. You're very shady. Oh, oh. That's great and all, but what do you mean by illegal? You may own all the gold, but these were just dusty old rocks until I polished them to a sheen. Oi. That pompous attitude will get you in trouble someday, boy. As landowner here, Mr. Morlock has the right to oversee any and all business transactions he so desires. And as of now, that includes the trading of your little rocks. Does it now? Oi, oi. That seems awfully arbitrary if you ask me. Shady. But that wouldn't be the first foul thing to happen here. Yeah, there was the blood sacrifices just like a couple... Or weren't you aware, Mr. Morlock? You see, the price of gold... Nah. ...is actually ten times what you're giving to your miners. Ali, maybe this isn't the time. Hmm. It's exactly the time. They're deceiving honest, hard-working people just to line their pockets. On my honor as a merchant, I won't stand for it. Omar! Teach this little desert ant what happens to pests who try to stain my good name. Oi! Ready to be squished, boy. Uh. I'd like to see you try. You're going to get squished. <laughs> I'm stronger than I look. I'm well versed in all the martial arts. Ali, the one-man army they call me in the south. The mere mention of my name strikes fear into the hearts of any who would wrong the common man. I've killed more people than I can count, and all with one hand. <laughs> then you'll make a fine opponent. Yeah, that, that did not work. <laughs> the one-man army... <laughs> a merchant's weapon is his words. We don't stand a chance on a real battlefield. Um, my fight was lost the instant we came to blows. You're the one that charged. Yes. I trust you've learned your lesson, Aunt. Aunt. Hmm. Looks like your wares aren't selling so well. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll take them off your hands. Whoa. Oh. These stones belong to me. Do you understand? <laughs> if you're so determined to have them, though, I'll let you be my little worker, Ant. I'll be in my manor. Come find me if you want a real job. <laughs> yeah, ha ha ha. Where are you taking him? <laughs> I can't believe that man. How dare he take advantage of people to line his own pockets. That's just dirty. Ali, I might not agree with everything he does, but I do agree with what he said to Mr. Morlock. And yes, I know I'm at 34 minutes. Even if he could have been more diplomatic about it. Yes. I have to save him. Morlock said he'd be in his manner. It's time to pay him a visit. You obtained. So we're going to do this, then we're going to save, and then I've got a thing I need to do. How low can you get? I won't stand for this. Calm yourself, Tressa. He's going to pay, do you hear? Don't try to stop me. I shall not. But at the very least, allow me to help you. Better two than one, yes? Besides, he's actually a one-man army. Truth be told, I was angry too. It was only the quickness of your temper that has allowed me to control mine. Oh! 
Well, then you understand how I feel after all. Thank you, Sir Ulbrick. You need not thank me. We are comrades on this journey. <laughs> you got that right. Ooh. Oh, yeah, you, you're the pantaloons guy. You won't have... Yeah, yeah, you're, you're not going to have uh, pickaxe. So, I'm going to save and come back to this a little bit later. Talk to y'all then. Bye. We're going to go punch capitalism next.